This solar heater contains 50 liters of water, which can be heated by the sun to temperatures higher than 50 degrees Celsius, and six thermal insulation around the heater keeps the hot water until morning. This white pipe will be surrounded by those 50 liters of hot water, and this green hose is connected to the cold water pipe of my summer cottage. Those 50 liters of water heat the cold water when it goes through the white pipe, and then clean hot water moves through this hose to this wash basin mixer and to this shower. The making of my system began with this box, which is thermal insulation with a thickness of 10 cm. Then I put these pieces of old black films. Those 50 liters of hot water will be inside this sleeve of black polyethylene film. And usually such sleeves are sold 150 cm wide. Now we see the black sleeve inside the box, those 50 liters of water and the white pipe. Then I put this black wall, which is also thermal insulation with a thickness of 10 cm. The making of my system ends with the installation of this transparent covering, which should consist of several transparent sheets. For example, I use these two glass sheets and this cellular polycarbonate with a thickness of 4 mm. The heater is a relative of this of my old solar heater, which provided hot water to my summer cottage two months ago, and it was described by one of my old videos. Unfortunately, this old solar heater will not work well in Europe or Canada in the autumn months due to the low height of the sun above the horizon. In addition, it will work poorly in the tropics in winter if the height of the sun above the horizon is less than 30 or 40 degrees. That is why I use this black wool, which makes my new solar heater able to work in autumn and winter. This is because the radiation from the low sun is absorbed by the black wool, and therefore it is heated to temperatures greater than 100 degrees Celsius. The hot black wool transfers some part of its energy to the water of the black sleeve using infrared radiation and heating the air over the black sleeve. Here we see how high temperatures damage black polyethylene film after one short experiment. I remind you that the melting point of polyethylene is a little more than 100 degrees Celsius. Now we see the melting of expanded polystyrene, and we understand that this phenomenon was due to a temperature of about 100 degrees Celsius. That is why now my black wall has these wooden buttons. Then I install mineral wool, which is covered with sheets of this wooden material with black paint. However, we understand that ordinary black paint is not designed for temperatures greater than 100 degrees Celsius. Let's look at this experiment on 15 October, when those 50 liters of water had a temperature of 34 degrees Celsius in the morning. It was a sunny day with such sky, and therefore those 50 liters were heated to 52 degrees Celsius in the evening. Of course, the water will lose some of its heat at night, and now we see its temperature the next morning of 16 October. It is obvious that the evening and morning temperatures should be greater in summer, due to warmer ambient air and a higher sun. I am in Ukraine, here, at 50 degrees north latitude, and the midday height of the sun above the horizon was 32 degrees in that experiment on 15 October. Thus, those my experiments correspond to the height of the sun for the winter months here, around the Mediterranean or in the center of the United States. Unfortunately, this solar heater does not work well during non-solar periods, and therefore I do not recommend using it in Northern Europe from November to March. We understand that it will be better to connect the heater outlet to the inlet of a tank electric water heater or possibly to the inlet of a tankless electric heater. This connection ensures that you will have hot water always, and the electricity consumption of your tank or tankless heater will decrease several times. But it is obvious that these houses should be replaced with reliable plastic pipes. Now I will show an experiment, when the cold water comes through this green hose and quickly becomes clean hot water, which leaves the white pipe through this outlet. Before the experiment, those 50 liters of water inside my solar heater had these temperatures. So, the experiment has already begun, and this sensor shows the temperature of the clean hot water which leaves the white pipe. At first, the temperature is more than 49 degrees Celsius, because it is the water which has been inside the white pipe for a long time. 
We must pay attention that the water temperature began to decrease rapidly and that now more than two liters of water have left my solar heater. I used 21 meters of that white pipe with an inner diameter of 12 millimeters and we can calculate that the internal volume of the pipe is 2 liters. But those 2 liters of the hot water have already left the white pipe and now we see the water which came inside the pipe from the cold water system of my house about a minute ago. Now we see that the water temperature continues to decrease but very slowly. That cold water had a temperature of 12 degrees Celsius and we see water which went through the white pipe where the water quickly heated from 12 to 38 degrees because it took heat from those 50 liters of water. Of course, the temperature of the water from the white pipe gradually decreases because that water inside the black sleeve cools due to the fact that it transfers its own heat. I remind you that this hot water should go to inlet of an electric water heater. That is why its electricity consumption will decrease, because its heating of this water with a temperature of almost 40 degrees requires several times less electricity than heating the cold water 12 degrees. So, we see that my solar heater has already produced 11 liters of hot water with a temperature between 49 and 34 degrees Celsius. This is the temperature of the water inside the black sleeve after the production of those 11 liters of hot water. This experiment helps us understand that this solar heater is too small. The needs of a large family require increasing this dimension of the heater several times and it should contain almost 100 liters of the water or more. Also, perhaps there is sense to increase the performance of this heat exchanger by increasing the length of its pipe or its location in the upper layer of the water. It is interesting to note that I was forced to add these steel ballast and these plastic clamps. Prior to this, the heat exchanger formed these zones, which reduce the efficiency of the solar heater. In addition, the efficiency will decrease if the height of the sledge increases. Another cause of decrease in the efficiency is these air bubbles, however we can easily remove them. So, this solar heater is very simple and cheap, but we must be aware of its disadvantages. For example, the low temperatures of its hot water require its use together with an electric water heater. Another disadvantage is the short lifespan of this polymer sleeve, and therefore we must periodically replace them. In addition, we must be able to easily lift the transparent cover to replace the sleeve, remove those air bubbles and other purposes, and now I show three possibilities to lift it.